Hello Year 7 and here we are again in Mr Green's Shed for the third lesson in the series of work about Buddhism. Okay, so let's start by looking at uh, reviewing what we did last week. We talked about the Four Noble Truths, which were Dukkha, Samadaya, Naroda and Maja. And if you remember what they meant, Dukkha means that recognising there is suffering in the world. Samadaya meant um, that we recognise that suffering has a cause, and that cause is greed or desire or need or want. Number three, Naroda means that uh, we recognise there is a way out of suffering. And Maja means that the way out of suffering is the eightfold path, following the eightfold path. And it's the eightfold path that we're going to look at in this piece of work. So what does that mean, the eightfold path? First of all, on this screen, there are uh, three links to videos about Buddhism and the Eightfold Path. So at this point, you should stop me and watch them and then come back onto this screen. Right, so I'm assuming you've now watched the videos and let's look at this. In the form of a wheel, often represented in the form of a wheel with eight pathways. And we'll start at the top. And um, Buddhists believe that you should try to live your life in a certain way by considering the right view, by seeing things in a certain way, in a positive way in a way that reflects um, ways out of suffering, as in the Four Noble Truths. The right intention, when you do your daily actions, having the right intention, the intention to do good and not cause harm, for example. The right speech, and the right speech could well be saying the right thing, saying the right thing to somebody to not hurt their feelings, or saying things that are kind uh, and not hurtful. The right action, is having uh, the idea of doing things the right way. What it is that is the right way, you have to consider um, what it is that's wrong, what it is that you're trying to do, what is the right action for the thing that you're trying to achieve. The right livelihood. A livelihood is another way of saying how you make your money. Uh, having the right livelihood is normally associated with work, with hard work, with hard work and labour, earning money in a fair way and not in an immoral way, such as things like crime or gambling. The right effort is about always trying your best, putting in the right amount of effort to achieve your goals. And the last two, the right concentration and the right mindfulness. Well, concentration kind of speaks for itself, having the right concentration on the thing that you're doing to make sure that you can uh, achieve your goals. And the right mindfulness. Now, mindfulness is a very important concept in Buddhism. Mindfulness is about staying in the moment, staying with your mind in the present, not in the past and not in the future. In the past, we can look at things that have gone wrong and, and that causes us problems. And if we look into the future, it might cause us worry or anxiety. And therefore, in, in Buddhism, it's very important to recognize concentration and mindfulness, which is why um, meditation is so important in Buddhism, a very important um, practice, shall we say. OK, so what do you do when you recognise all this? You might want to make a few notes and then we're going to have a look at making something creative. So I suggest that if you've got your book, you take a double page. If you haven't, uh, a large piece of paper, A3, if you've got it or something similar, or you can make a massive poster for your bedroom wall. It doesn't really matter as long as we go through the task. So you divide your page into eight, as is uh, on the screen here. You can either draw a wheel or you could print one out if you've got access to a printer and write um, the, the, the rights, the right intention, the right speech, the right action around it, as you can see right in front. But then for each one, I want you to look at the idea of what each box means. What is the right intention. A good way of always explaining things is to give examples and then, as it say, explain why this is a good thing to do. But of course, it's easy to say, I'm going to do it this way and then things crop up. And therefore, what makes it difficult? What makes it difficult to have the right speech or the right view or the right effort? Um, and then, of course, in Buddhism, the important thing to do is if there is a, a hurdle in the way, if there is a blockage in your pathway, is what can you do to try to overcome it? Because the idea is, of course, if you don't follow these eight rules or these eight full paths, then it will cause suffering. And as we know from the previous lesson, it's suffering that we are trying to solve. OK, 
So although it says at the top, add an explanation to your assessment, don't worry about that too bit, that little bit for now. That's going to come up next week because we are going to be doing an assessment about all the things we've learned so far in Buddhism. So there you are. I hope that explains it. If it doesn't, then perhaps you could do a bit of research and find out a little bit more. But keep it simple. Make a nice presentation. I don't want this one handing in just now on Teams. This is for you. Background work. Next week there will be an assessment. I will want that one in and I'll explain how that happens. So there you go. Have a good day. Have a good week. And we'll see each other again very soon.